All right, boss chamber coming up. Don't really have any money or experience, so I'm good. What are we doing here? Okay, a lot of minor changes. Certain characters are gone. Is the difference between the two characters' memories? Hey, what's it like to be the loser that only gets to use other people's pre-used boss fight chambers? <laughs> like... There's... Only so many, like, hyper cool, like, this is a badass coming at you mega boss fights. Like, especially the humans, specifically. And this guy uses the boss fight chambers of, like, the previous two ones, basically. Uh, are we fighting? Again? I'm a little worried. Is it gonna be like the blue smelter demon where it's way worse? Uh... Oh. That's that was a faster start than last time. Oh, that's not a good start. God, I'm not doing great. All right. Basically already you're faster now, aren't you? Okay, yes you are. What the hell? <laughs> nope. Oh, he's got a new trick. Nope. It's fine. It's the first attempt, I don't really expect to win. You have not taken a lot of damage so far. Whoop. God damn. I'm gonna try not to use any heals besides the gourd because I don't. It's just a waste. I'm not gonna win the first time. Whoop. Unfortunate miss. Ooh, I didn't quite read that correctly. Nope. I missed the timing on that. <laughs> My tiny baby sword. That's <laughs> so sad. He's got so much sword. Everyone else has so much range compared to me. <laughs> okay. Ah, shit. I'm fucked, aren't I? I really wish I would connect those hits. Uh, I, I land the posture damage, but that doesn't matter because it's just going to go away. His posture generates too fast this early in the fight for that to matter. So all that really matters is whether or not I land a hit during that, and my hit misses. So bouncing on his head is cute, but it doesn't help. No. Gotta get these timings right. Oh, 
Oop, I thought he was doing the sweep. Because that's usually what he did. Ah. No. I'm not going to really be talking during this fight. <laughs> I'm not really going to be talking at all. It's... It comes down to just having hyper-specific timings, which makes it an incredibly hard game to let's play, because you kind of need to not perform at all and not even acknowledge that you have an audience and just try to laser focus on this incredibly intensive game. It's like playing Thumper. Not that the Thumper is necessarily this hard, but it's like all you can do, the only way to play a Thumper is to be completely hyper-focused on how to play Thumper. I didn't even land on him. Like, I did a double jump off of air. Didn't even count as colliding with him as far as I could tell. Oh, shit. I'm on fire. All right. You can just have that one. I'm only getting like 25% of the way into the fight. Fuck. He has so much health. It's going to be a long day or a week. Even the failed attempts are astonishingly long. No lock on. Come on, fucking camera. Lost lock on because he went behind a pillar. I would rather the game only lose lock on when I tell it to in some of these cases than some of this crap, but it does. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, pro tip from software. I know I know you've only taken like six games to try to figure this out, but like if somebody clicks the lock on button and it's a, you know, a boss chamber, they're in a boss fight, which I know you can tell they're in a boss fight because a giant boss health bar pops up just to make it really clear that the game knows I'm in a boss fight. Lock on to the boss. If I press the lock on button during a boss fight, just lock onto the boss. I don't care how far away it is. I don't care what direction I'm facing. Just lock onto the boss. Period. No matter what. That's why... If someone's pressing that button, that's what they want. They never want the camera to whip around 180 degrees and face a wall and be like, Is this what you wanted? Nobody has ever pressed right stick to make the camera center on their character. Especially during a boss fight. Never. <laughs> that's not a... That's not a thing people do. They're doing it to lock onto the boss, and you should know that by now, so why doesn't it work that way? Like, I... Yeah. Like, they're smart enough to know that, like, hey, when you have a bunch of items on your D-pad, if you hold the button, it should skip to the heal your healing item in the first slot. Like, they got that idea figured out, like, three games ago. But they still haven't figured out that, like, hey, if you want to lock on in a boss fight, it's because you're trying to lock onto the boss, and which got lost lock on for some reason. You know where the boss is. It's not... It, this doesn't seem like it's that undoable. They even did things like... Uh, in Dark Souls 3, when you fight Midir, they make the camera zoom out more, and the lock-on range is clearly way further than it is in the rest of the game. Like, they have giant boss arenas in Dark Souls 3 where the lock-on gets... It breaks its own rules and gets further and further away. And you can lock onto somebody that's like 100 meters away because they know, hey, that's the boss fight. And this just this just is a giant room. And the camera zooms out because of the acknowledgement that sometimes the camera being always at the same distance doesn't help certain fights. This game seems to forget both of those lessons. And that frustrates me. Because those were good lessons to learn on their end. When I'm fighting a giant boss that's way bigger than the screen, I want to, the camera should probably zoom out so I could see what's happening. Which, which they've done in the past, but not here. Ah, uh, it was too early. Shit. God damn my sword.
We doing it? He doing it? Ah, shit. No, oh, that wasn't. Oh. I didn't get out of range of it the way I thought I would did. I'm trying, I'm trying to, if I move too much, he, he changes attacks, but that attack is so punishable. And it seems like you can just walk out of the way of it if you're really careful. But I wasn't careful. I wasn't correctly careful that time. So I just got hit by it. And dur after that attack, he seems to not block for a while. Ah, no. Creating blows is bad. He wins that. <laughs> there we go. That's a good example. Oh, <laughs> canceled it. I'm trying to land my I'm trying to plant my feet first before counterattacking because I think it does more damage. I think a normal R1 does more damage than basically any other attack I have. Including air attacks or com like combo attacks in the air seem to land multiple hits, but I don't think it does as much damage as a direct hit. move too much. Now look at so hot, dude. No. No! Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Get a Sephiroth sword, you bastard. <laughs> The only way you're gonna fight these mega people that are like three times your height. This is I don't this game is where you play as Yoda. This is Yoda versus Palpatine. I don't like the matchup. <laughs> Next hit kills me. What an exciting match. <laughs> when will it come? You never know. Health's getting down there, buddy. I can do stuff like this now. That did not do anything to your poise. Also... No, that's the one you can charge up. Did I not charge it up correctly? Nope. Nope. Fuck. Phase one. Fuck you. Oh shit. What you doing? Is this Neo now? Spirit animals are here. What's mine? Do I get a wolf? Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like that move. I don't like that move. That's not a very nice move to use. I I'm your son. How dare you? 
Ah, oh, shit. Woohoo. Not doing well. So we're getting there, but I've used four heals, or three of these heals and four of these heals. So while if well, it feels like a tiny victory, then I'm at five out of nine. It's like, oh wow, I'm, I'm less than halfway through my heals. I'm actually more than halfway through my heals. Uh, could use stuff like this, but I don't know if I can get it back. Worth considering. If I think we're doing well enough, I could potentially try using other heal over times. Oh boy. Oh shit. Shit. He didn't, he couldn't reach. Where is he? Where is he? That's a punishable mo mo moment that I need to make sure I bait. Otherwise it's wasted. Uh oh. Yeah, oh, both of his owl moves I can counter if I if I correctly avoid the the the, uh, the attack. No. No. No! What a waste. Oh, and it's still active. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, not always that vulnerable, apparently. This is not a good start. He didn't reach me. Damn it. Yeah. Ah, come on. Fuck. Gee, he can spawn in front of you. Yeah. All right. I get the idea that you probably that you need to like f you need to watch the owl. But like the owl moves 10 times as fast as you do. So your ability to track where the owl's going is kind of rough. Nikonoshinobiyo. <laughs> Yep, you don't just get it back. You can't rely on those things, which is all the more reason why I don't generally want to use them. Fuck. I'm out of pellets. Alright, fuck it. Gourd is my only item now. It can be so brutal to deal with, like, the game be like, Oh yeah? You're having trouble? Well now the game's harder. Those items you had, they're gone. Fuck you. 
It's the... You don't realize until you play the, from software games the saving grace that is a game over screen and actually having to start over from the last checkpoint is that you don't lose anything. <laughs> Whereas these games are like, you, you lost? Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Now things are worse. <laughs> Alright, not a good start. Fuck. Alright. I give up. That was such a bad attempt. <sighs> I feel like I've only tried like four attempts on him, I think. But this video is this recording's already 40 minutes long. Holy crap, man. I think that last attempt I did was like 10 minutes long. <laughs> You have to play so well for so long. Like, it's such an endurance run to not be taking hits for like 10 minutes straight of non-stop combat. A lot of my heals get wasted by him immediately hitting me during the heal because it's hard to find an opening. Which means that effectively we, we lose two heals for the price of one. Ah, kill me. Fuck it. I've done no damage and I was already two heals down. Ah, his landed first. Fuck. Oh, shit. What happened there? Alright. <sighs> yep, let's come back a different day. You see this face right here? You see this little face? Of Wolf? With his ash on sh and shit? He's fucked. You know why we're fucked? Because the last time I played this game was April 17th, before my birthday, <laughs> that long ago. I had a lot of backlog content. That whole thing where we were like, hey, let's, uh, I, I, the whole approach of like playing, I was playing the game every single day for hours trying to beat past the difficulty curve because I was just so roadblocked by seven spears and lotus lady butterfly. Yeah, there we go. And stuff like that. I was like, we need to play this game every day until I, like, finally break through a barrier or something and start making progress in this game. Uh, and then once I started having momentum, I kept that momentum up and played it every single day and so on, all the way up until we got to Mr. Owl the second, because this game makes hard bosses come back harder. Yay. Uh, so I played a lot. But because of the vacation and stuff related to my birthday and, like, my backlog, Diminishing, I was like, I gotta play all these other games on my schedule. Also, Majora's Mask and Baba is You are very, like, intensive for different reasons. Majora's Mask has so much, like, weird schedule stuff to keep track of, and it's like, it, it demands attention. Baba is You is just a very difficult puzzle game, so they're both tiring games. So, uh, between those two and this game, I have three exhausting games on a six-game schedule, and, uh... I also wasn't really in a hurry to come back to this game, admittedly, because I knew once I, I I left off on this boss that's so, that's so difficult, and I'm like, I, not today, not today, is what was my general feeling, uh, and nothing like, and then it, then it snowballs, because then it's like, oh well, that now, well now it's been this long, so it's gonna be worse now because you're you're worse at the game. Do you remember what the buttons do? Didn't think so. So, uh, so yeah, I haven't played this game since April 17th. And what day is it today? It is May 17th. Yep, the same day of this, of the next month. So it's been exactly a month. I'm still stuck on Owl. I definitely totally remember what the buttons are in this game and definitely haven't forgotten them. I am in trouble. Well, good news, everybody. I don't remember what my strategy was before, so maybe my hot new take will, like, obliterate this fuck. I'm, I'm probably gonna give up on this boss after, like, two more attempts, and then be like, let's try making progress elsewhere, and come back later, like I have in the past. That's weird how we thought that was gonna connect. Why'd the lock-on go away? I'm in the middle of a fight. Oh! I, I tried to do the last minute Sidestep. Didn't work! I'm, I'm about to die. There it goes. Oh god. <laughs> that was the incorrect jump for that moment. Cool. 
just that moment of like, oh cool, I'm floating in the air, surrounded by explodes. And there's no cure. <laughs> there's no cure for exploding itis. Fuck your hitbox! Bullshit! Uh, just take it, I don't care. I hate that attack. He's so clearly, like... <sighs> I just feel like it so clearly programs the player to slightly step out of the way in order to not get hit by it, but also make him not change moves so that you can then actually counterattack him, because the whole thing is you're trying to find counterattack opportunities in order to do damage. And if you move even a little bit too far, he stops and the attack and does something way worse. But if you move too little, he just hits you, even though he still didn't actually re he, re he didn't correct to hit me where I actually was. He just swung not where I was, and it hit me anyway. See, that's too far, apparently. It's just, I don't... The sweet spot is absurd for that one. Yep, oh, there. I did the jump, I did the jump again. Yep. God damn this fight. Oh, that hit me? Bummer. No! <sighs> nope, shit. Okay, let's just take me. Take me to the death place where I die. Cause I suck. Learning to walk again. Because I haven't second in a month. I'd fuck the syllables up really bad. Learning to talk again. Even though I commentate for hours a day. Literally nothing else I do. Nope. Oh. So I think the secret is to jump backwards. If I jump straight backwards, he doesn't seem to care that I'm out of range. He just cares whether or not I'm out of the... The direction. Whoop. 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 Now all I have to do is read the fight correctly, ever. No, I did a heal. That means you're supposed to do the B attack at me. Obviously. God, you don't even read the manual. Yay. Punish, punish, punish. I am the one who punishes now. Now I'm the daddy. <laughs> be me. Press B. Or make me press B. I don't know what to call your version of the attack. Be me up. Yay! He's so obedient sometimes, for some reason. <laughs> nope. Way too far out of attack range. Cool. Just missed that counter. It's, it's cool. I don't need to be good at video games. Oh, I'm about to die. You're in the bad place now. No! No! The TNT! God, the gunpowder. Not TNT. Whatever. God, the gunpowder. It can just be the worst. Do, do. Uh oh, you're trading blows. That's not what I want.
God, I wish I was good at video games. Uh, I lost all my health again. <laughs> Interesting choices there, camera. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, God, his range is so deceptive. Shit, I pressed attack instead of counter for some reason. Because apparently my brain's melting. Oh, I'm, I'm accidentally crouching. Oh god, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what this phase was. Oh no. It's so much worse. What does it do? What is it? Did it like attacks me? Some yeah, there we go. Is my, are my fireworks useless against him now? Oh, I'm out of them. Cool. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, he missed. Oh, he's super ultra missed! Where is he? Okay. God, if you missed any more, I'd have to call you Cyan. Whoop. <laughs> he never lands it. No! Give me this.
Nope. <laughs> oh shit. Whoop. <laughs> Final blow, nope. Yeah. <laughs> you better not have a phase three, you son of a bitch. Coward meta for the win. <laughs> you run. You run. Fuck parrying. Run away a lot. <laughs> Look for openings and run. Foster father. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol to confront and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. The foster father confronted in old memories was a man in his prime. The aromatic flower. Flowers of the ever blossom that bloomed in an old memory. Crafted by Tekadu, who took the branch from the Divine Realm as a parting relic. One who seeks purification may impart the Dragon Tears and these flowers to the Dragon Heir of the Dragon Heritage, thus severing the shackles that bind the immortal bearer of Dragon's Blood. Is this fucking room twice? <laughs> Two hardest bosses in the game are in this goddamn room. Well, the apes are up there, obviously. Uh, eat it. Eat the power. Owl took in the hungry cub on a whim and raised him as shinobi. The process was so engrossing that he hoped they might enjoy a true battle to the death someday. He got his wish, if only in an old memory. How do memories work, though? Like, what's starting to make sense to me is the idea that maybe the... Maybe these memories take place as a prequel to the main game. Like, this is what happened, and maybe this is, like... It's like, we get stabbed in the back. So maybe that's why... Maybe that's why Wolf isn't there when the initial attack happens. That And, like, the kidnapping happens. I don't know. 
I feel like the memory happens first, and then the main game happens. Well, that's obviously true, but I feel like Wolf... It might be Wolf's memory? In which case, I don't know if this is an alternate memory... Or what? I don't know. Like, is the cannon that he defeated Lady Butterfly... Got stabbed in the back by his father, then got back up and fought him again? Then defeated him? Well, that can't... No. That can't be true because of the fact that we fight at him later. And we betray him then, for the first time. So... I'm thinking... Maybe the first memory was... Canon and experienced by Wolf, and the second memory, memory is an alternate experience because it's based on Owl's experience, and we're just interfering with it. Or maybe neither of them happened. It might be that both memories are basically like the equivalent of like Assassin's Creed with the Animus, where you're experiencing somebody else, like you're experiencing what happened, and it's like a simulation. You can fight all the elements of it in your and in, in, interact with them in your efforts to understand what's happening in it. But by interacting with it, you're getting a less authentic version of the experience because things are changing in response to your behavior. But because it's just a simulation, it doesn't actually affect the world. But it does give you a less accurate view of what happened in the past because you're changing it via simulation. I don't know, man. This is the most literal story they've told. Uh, no, that's not true at all, by the way. From Software has a long history of video games that they've made, and a lot of them are actually very literal. I've played Enchanted Arms before. I didn't know that was them for the longest time, but yeah. I didn't play- I didn't make it very far, because I didn't like it, but... Uh, I play, actually played- I think I played like three From Software games before I played uh, Demon Souls for the first time without- and then only retroactively found out that they were From Software games. Uh, and a lot of their games actually have really normal-ass stories. I imagine Armored Core is incredibly straightforward, because it's a mech franchise. It's probably not like a riddle what the story is in that game's case. Ah! It only took half an hour. I, be ah, I beat him in only half an hour. I spent a month dreading this fight, <laughs> because I wasn't playing this game for a whole month, but just knew what I would be coming back to. And I beat it, thanks to the coward meta. Can I still eavesdrop? I can. え、ま。お前さん。言い返せちまって良かったのかい。私が止めたとてあの方は怒れるでしょう。やろうな。ね、症状。せめて願っていたのにあの方が。なし止めること。Hey everybody, I am Quince. <laughs> it always blows the use drop when you hear you overhear something, then you like <clears throat> and you walk into the room. <laughs> like, oh wow, what timing. It's almost like he heard the whole conversation. <laughs> うん。少し顔を見せてください。何かあったのですね。これで巫女様の人帰りが叶う。なすべきことをなすだけだ。わかりました。どうか分を。<笑> オオカミ殿。何だ。どうか。文を。ああ。オオカミ殿。では、また。お前さん、少し空気が変わったようじゃな。何か大きなものを超えてきたと I actually don't have a plan here. What's trippy to me about the trip, about the break I took is that, uh, last time I played Sekiro, uh, Operencia and Zelda and Baba were all, like, baby playthroughs. Like, they were like, oh, they're just, they look at them, they're growing up. 
and like now I've beaten Operencia and I've beaten Zelda, and I uh, I'm on the final steps of Baba at this moment, and I'm like I. A lot of stuff has happened in between. I did all of Onimusha and all of Hellblade between the two sessions, yeah, like over the course of that break. Like there was no going back and forth, which is probably good. I didn't have to mix any muscle memory with those combat games. Alright, so... Oh, what was next? Right, so ne yeah, we're gonna go past the uh, the phantom cleric lady thing that we fought with the giant Guan Yu blade. Uh, I think they said that there's supposed to be a way forward past her now, ne uh, ever since we made more story progress. So I guess that's the next thing to do now that we've finished the second version of the memory. Mm -hmm.